Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. In the late 1700s, there was an innovation which would change the world forever. This innovation came from the French engineer and Lieutenant General Jean-Baptiste Griberval. At least, I think that's how it's pronounced. He was charged with reforming the French military's artillery. What he came up with was a standardized set of cannons and cannonballs. See, up until that point, cannons were not standardized. For each cannon, you made cannon balls to fit that specific cannon's barrel. Using Jean-Baptiste's mm. specifications, the French could freely produce cannonballs by simply staying within the tolerance of Jean-Baptiste's design. The concept of interchangeability was introduced, and it became an integral part of the Industrial Revolution. I share that story with you because it's a great illustration for something called coupling. There are two types of coupling, tight coupling or loose coupling. For example, the cannonballs that are custom made for a custom made cannon are tightly coupled to that cannon. Whereas Jean-Baptiste's loosely coupled cannon design will allow you to exchange the cannonball inventory without any conflict. But the cannonball example is a fairly crude simplification. Carl Weick, hey. the one that came up with this coupling concept, wrote about more intangible systems like organizations and information systems. He discovered that tightly coupled systems run very smoothly when all the steps in the system are present and accounted for. But these types of systems are fragile to any change, like bumping one domino and having the rest of them fall. Understanding coupling comes in really handy when you're setting up a system to turn data into information. Let me give you a few common examples of tightly coupled scenarios, which we often see in this space. So first example, let's say you have a data guy that gives you all the information you need. Well, this means that you are tightly coupled to that data guy. The day that analyst yeah. finds a new job is the day you stop getting information. The more that data guy uniquely supplies and understands your organization's data, the more painful his or her exit is. Second example, your organization decides to custom build all the analytics into the CRM or ERP application. This means that you are tightly coupling yourself to your software vendor because all your information assets are custom coded therein. So when you go to negotiate your fees with your vendor, you no longer have the upper hand. Or worse, if you have to replace that vendor, you now are forced to completely rebuild how do you turn data into information. Third example, Imagine your organization needs to change the way it calculates its cost. This will require you to change some logic in your analytics. However, since you already have thousands of reports and analytics, you need to be sure that change is accounted for across all of them. There's only one problem. The solution you chose for data visualization nests the SQL query logic in the data visualization itself. So now you have to open each one individually, edit the SQL and repeat a thousand times <laughs> because the visualization and the query logic are tightly coupled together. Fourth example, each night you load data into a data warehouse to supply analytics to your business. However, one particular night, the load takes too long. So now it's running during the day and your users can't even query the data warehouse because it's computing power is being tied up with loading data. So in this case, the compute and the storage are tightly coupled together. So you just have to wait until you can get access to that data again. Fifth example, as a marketing professional, you have got to get your hands on some meaningful analytics to help you make some critical daily decisions. But you either don't have an IT department or you can't rely on your IT department to be responsive enough to your analytic needs. Your organization decides to purchase an all-in-one solution that delivers a data warehouse and visualization offering in a single SKU. Now all your data logic and visualization are tightly coupled together and they are coupled to a single BI vendor. The moment you find another powerful analytics tool, you're stuck because your data warehouse is coupled to a single BI layer provided by that one vendor. Now for each one of these five examples, I've written a loose coupling solution in a white paper which you can pick up by clicking on the link in the middle of this video or in the video description below. Hopefully these scenarios can help you get a glimpse into how important it is to understand the big picture when deploying the process of turning data into information. To go through your scenario one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to reach out to Intricity to talk with a specialist.